My wife and I was driving around the other day. It was late in the evening and I was checking on cattle. And uh, it was just one of those days that was like a bush garden day. The sun was setting and it was a beautiful sunset. And the cows was in good shape. The cows was bloomy and the grass was green and, and the woods was abundant of wildlife. Everything was, was feeding and it was just a great day. And I thought, wouldn't it be neat if my mom and dad could come back for just one day and see what we've done and see that we're still working the land like we did when they was there. people don't realize that in Florida the ranchers provide a tremendous amount of the green space that's still left in Florida. I mean, if, if the ranchers weren't there this land would be developed. It would be you know, concrete, golf courses, no longer there available for recreational use, for freshwater recharge, for uh, the wildlife habitat, the wildlife corridor, so these animals don't get hit by cars on the highway. They can travel in their natural habitat, and they protect a lot of uh, uh, wild, uh, you know, endangered species. And it's you know, it, that part of the ranching heritage is never really known or discussed, and it, it's just such a big part of what these ranchers do. Florida Cattle Ranchers, it's, uh, it's a group of men and women and, and uh, families that I'm really proud of and decided that they were going to provide a, a Florida beef product to the, uh, to the state of Florida and have it local and have it uh, third party certified and everything that you'll buy from the Florida Cattle Ranchers group will be, ha will be born, raised and fed and cared for and cared for correctly here in the state of Florida. Another thing they're very proud about is the, the hum humane treatment of animals. They believe that less stress on, a, on the cattle produces better beef and that so they do, they concentrate on figuring out ways that they can create less stress in their life. I tell you what, don't forget that whenever you go to public supermarket and you look at the meat aisle and you see a Florida cattle rancher's piece of beef and you take it and you put it in your shopping cart and you bring it home, you season it the way you want to season it and you put it on that grill, you, you're going to be enjoying a true locally produced piece of meat that is second to none.